Hi, Bob from Black Magic, and we're here today at NAB 2019. We're here to talk about DaVinci Resolve 16. Now, DaVinci Resolve had a massive update. We did over 100 new items in the edit page, color page, fusion page, Fairlight audio page, but we also created a new page called the cut page. The cut page is designed for fast editing for short form work, so promos and commercials, things like that, where you just want to slap together some edits and get it up online. We have a new cut page that features some really fast ways of working. We have a dual timeline, so we actually have the entire timeline on the top and then the zoomed in portion where you are as you scroll down. Now, you'll notice that I'm using this new editor keyboard that we created. Now, this is the new DaVinci Resolve editor keyboard that will be out in August. It's uh, $995 and it has a great search dial, so I can do jog, shuttle, and scroll. And I also can mark in and out points and drop them into the timeline over here. And so what, what I'm doing now, I can actually uh, work with um, both of my hands. So I'm not using just a, a mouse, which is great. Now, the other thing that we have in, in this uh, in, is a neural engine. Now, the neural engine is using predictive uh, text like, uh, well, similar to predictive text. Uh, it's, um, you know, AI. So like, for instance, I'm close to a cut here and I'm going to add a dissolve. So if I drop in a dissolve, it knew that I wanted to put it at the actual cut point. Now I can change that, I can slip and slide it if I need to, but the idea being that the, that the neural engine is there to assist you so it makes smarter choices or at least nudges you into the correct choice. We actually have this, uh, a new device called Source Clip. So the Source Clip is all of your Source Clips in one giant clip so that when you look at the Source Clip, you can actually see all of your footage in one uh, large clip and you can cut, uh, you know, insert um, uh, in and out points from that and drop them down on the timeline. It's just a way to look at all of your footage. And that's especially helpful when you're doing short form work where you have, you know, just a massive amount of, um, of different takes, but this way they're all in one, in one actual uh, clip instead of broken out indiv individually. Finding the right material in a bin with hundreds of clips is slow. Back in the days of tape, finding a clip was easy because you could just shuttle up and down the tape to review your material. The source tape mode brings back that old-fashioned concept and completely modernizes it to help you find the shots you need fast. It places all the clips in your bin in the viewer as a single long tape. You can quickly scrub through clips or jump to each clip without having to tediously search in bins. When you scrub over a clip, that clip also highlights in the bin. And if you decide to change the sort order in the bin, it instantly changes the order of the source tape in the viewer, so they always match. Once you set an in and out point around a group of clips, pressing the source tape button again will rebuild the source tape just using clips between the in and out points. This makes it easy to deal with just a specific range of clips from your bin. When working with clips that you did not shoot, the fast review feature gives you a way to get to know the material before you begin editing. It dynamically changes the playback speed from clip to clip based on length. All clips are played back faster, but short clips are played back slower than long clips, so you won't miss anything. Clips can be displayed in three ways, as thumbnails, in list view, or the new clip view. The clip view shows the entire clip and metadata. Hovering your mouse over the film strip displays the clip in the viewer. And then you can just drag and drop scenes right onto the timeline. Now you'll notice that when I dropped it onto the main timeline up here, it also dropped into the, into the, uh, into the correct spot down because they're dual timelines, as I mentioned. So as you see, they update in the same area. And so any changes that I make here are immediately updated there. Now, one thing is this uh, cut page has a, a limited number of tools and so if you need to do some more sophisticated work you can always go right over to the edit page and the edit page obviously has more tools but they're automatically updated so all the work that I do in the cut page automatically filters over to the edit page so the real integration between the two pages is there just as you would expect but the other thing is it's a choice 
We didn't want to shoehorn this quick way of working in, in the cut page into the edit page. We wanted to give people choices. All the tabs, in, including our new cut page, have been improved in Resolve 16. It's in beta right now, and you can actually, a public beta, so you can uh, download it today. If you already own uh, Fusion, I mean, uh, Resolve Studio, you can upgrade for free. Uh, Fusion 16 is the new version of the standalone version of Fusion, and that also is available uh, online now, and you can upgrade to that for free if you already own a Fusion Studio license. 